Hello and welcome to Real Madrid Television, where I'm delighted to say I'm here with Gareth Bale for his first ever interview as a Real Madrid player. Gareth, welcome to Spain. Welcome to your new home for the next six seasons. Now, 20,000 at least turned up to welcome you today. Were you expecting so many fans and how did it feel to finally push on that Real Madrid shirt and run out onto the pitch? Um, yeah, thank, uh, first of all, thanks. It's, it's great to be here and um, yeah, I, I, I wasn't expecting so many fans to be honest. I think it's, it's uh, the last or the holidays have just finished. So for, for them to turn out and, and, uh, and come and support me and, and wish me a, a nice welcome was, uh, was absolutely amazing. And, and they, feel, uh, they made me feel very, very welcome and, and very at home already. So uh, uh, yeah, thanks to them for that. And um, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's obviously great to be here. My, my dream come true and uh, yeah, hopefully now I can, uh, I can do the business on the pitch. Now you say it's your dream come true. I understand it's not the first time you've put on a Real Madrid shirt. There is in fact a photo which you were saying you're hoping won't come out. But I think we're going to slot it in there somewhere. Of you in a Real Madrid shirt age 9 or 10, what attracted you to the club so young? Um, I think the, the, the style of football, the, the great players that have always been here and, and the trophies that they've won, I think, um, yeah, when I was growing up, I always watched a lot of football and then Real Madrid were always the one team that, that always stood out for me. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've obviously been following them through uh, since I was younger to now. And, um, yeah, I think as, as when you're a boy, you, you see the players coming in and being unveiled and uh, putting, pulling on the white shirt and you think, oh, one day could that be me? And, uh, yeah, the day is finally here now and uh, it literally is a dream come true. And any Real Madrid idols that you've looked up to? Um, I think there's a lot. I think the likes of Zidane. There's obviously the previous ones, which obviously a bit before my time, Puskas and uh, and Stefano. So um, yeah, there's there's a lot of players that um, are obviously that have been unbelievable. They've been here, world class and and legends of the game. And uh, yeah, hopefully um, now I can uh, I can hopefully uh, become the player I want to be and and hopefully be in that league. Now you won at the PFA's Player and Young Player of the Year last season with Tottenham. One of only three players to ever do so in the same same season. In fact, Cristiano Ronaldo was another one of those three. You've played he played against him. You're about to play alongside him. Your thoughts ahead of playing alongside Cristiano Ronaldo? Um, yes, I think it's, it's, it's another massive dream come true for me. I, um, I've been watching him since since he first died uh, for playing for, for Man United. I think um, for me, he's the best player in the world. It's, uh, it'll obviously be a pleasure to play with him. Um, I think you can only learn off the best and, and he certainly is that. So um, yeah, I think it's, uh, it'll be great. Um, hopefully we can, we can both work together and, uh, and uh, yeah, provide a lot more trophies for Real Madrid and uh, become a better team. Now we've talked about your awards and your fantastic season last year. What are you hoping? What sort of progression are you hoping to make with Real Madrid? Um, the same for me. Every year, I, I want to keep improving. I think uh, you come to the best team in the world. You, you have the best coaches, the best manager, the best players. So um, yeah, for me, it, it's all in place uh, to, to keep improving, to, to have the best facilities around me, and uh, yeah, I want to keep. Uh, getting better as a player and, and hopefully reach my potential and, and what everybody think I can do. You join a line of young talent, uh, Carlo Ancelotti's side is made up of plenty of long, young players, you yourself are only 24. Uh, what's your opinion of Carlo Ancelotti and this squad? Um, I think he's, he's a great manager, I think he's, he's won um, every, every single club he's been at. I think uh, I've, uh, I've spoken to, to other players who have had him as manager and, and there's, there's been nothing short of he's been the best manager they've ever had. So um, obviously that was it was a it was a big factor in me coming and uh, yeah obviously working with with a great like himself. And uh, as for the squad, I think it's it's an absolutely amazing squad. Um, I've got to work hard to, to get into the starting eleven. I know that there's there's world class players here, the best players in the world. And uh, yeah, I, I obviously came here to be a part of it and uh, and to to try and get into the starting eleven and and win trophies. Are you looking forward to playing in a new league and what are your thoughts of La Liga? Yeah, for me, I, I'm, I'm very excited to be here. I think um, for me now, I think the La Liga is, is the best league in the world. There's the best players in the world playing here and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it and uh, I can't wait for it to start. And it's back to Champions League football for you and everyone's hoping for that 10th European title. What are you hoping to bring uh, to help Real Madrid win this year? 
Yeah, definitely. I think um, Champions League football is obviously a massive reason for me coming here. I didn't want to just be, be playing in it. I want to I want to be winning it. And uh, coming to a club like Real Madrid is uh, this exact place where, where I want to be to win things. So, um, yeah, for I'm sure everybody at the club and uh, wants to win it. And, and I definitely want to help her to achieve that, that goal and uh, obviously the 10th one. Now, your transfer, the talks of your transfer has been filling the sports pages worldwide throughout the summer. Have you felt pressure from all of that talk and how have you dealt with it? Um, I wouldn't say I've felt pressure. I, I've been very excited, hopefully, hoping the deal would be done and, and now it finally is. I think uh, it's, uh, it's one of them things I just, I just want to get started and, and want to show to everybody at Real Madrid, the fans and, and everybody else, what I can do. And uh, I don't think there's any more pressure put on me than, than I put on myself. So, um, yeah, I'll be going out there knowing, knowing what I have to do. and. Uh, Hopefully, I can I can continue the form uh, from from last season and, uh, and and get even better. Well, everyone seems to have an opinion on how you're going to settle down here in Spain, a new country, a new language, new culture. What's what are your thoughts? Is it something that concerns you, or are you looking forward to the challenge? Um, I'm looking forward to the challenge. I think it's uh, it's a new chapter in my life. Um, I think it, it's definitely important to to learn the language, learn the culture, and uh, I think it, it'll be exciting for me to do that. And uh, I think it'll make me grow up as a person, become a, a better person, and uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to the challenge. And uh, yeah, I obviously know Luka Modric, who, who is here, so um, I'm sure he, he, I'll get him to help me to, to settle in a bit easier. And uh, yeah, so uh, as I said, I'm looking forward to it and uh, hopefully settling down as quick as I can. That must be quite a comfort to you that Luka Modric is here, someone you've played with before. Um, now, we've already heard you speak a few words of Spanish out there at your presentation. You certainly yeah. impressed with that. Have you got any more that you could tell us or maybe just um, repeat the words you've already said? Yeah, I've, I've obviously been practicing, but um, I'm not too confident in doing it, but I can say what, what I said out there. So, say anything, um, um, Hola, es un sueño uh, para mi jugar para Real Madrid. Uh, gracias. Uh, por esta gran acogida. Brilliant. Now, while you're speaking such good Spanish, let's talk about the fans. There are millions of Madridistas worldwide looking forward to seeing you play for Real Madrid. If you wouldn't mind looking at that camera and your message to those millions of fans. Um, I just want to say it's, it's obviously a, a dream to be here, um, to play for, for such great fans as Real Madrid. I've, I've been watching uh, for years and years and years, and uh, it's a dream to, to be playing at Real Madrid. So. Um, Hopefully I can now uh, uh, achieve all, all my dreams and goals here and, uh, and make Real Madrid a better team and, and win a lot of trophies. So thank you very much and uh, uh, thanks for all your support. Thank you, Gareth. Thank you very much for talking to us today. Good luck and we, sh we wish you all of the best here at Real Madrid for the next six seasons. Thank you. Gareth Bale there in his first interview for Real Madrid as a Real Madrid player. That's it for now. We're all looking forward to seeing Gareth Bale in action now. Until next time, adios.